While servicemen and women are battling on the front lines, a national nonprofit's fighting for another battle for them right here at home. Today, Soldiers Angels will be handing out bags of food to low country veterans and service members in an effort to combat food insecurity. Our town of Maxwell joins us from Sam Rittenberg Boulevard in Charleston, where many people will gather soon for a food distribution. So, Tiana, why is food insecurity such a big issue for veterans and service members? Yeah, Katie, Shelby, well, when it comes to veterans resources, leaders with Soldiers Angels tell me that many veterans who were just getting by with the resources they had are still seeing setbacks because of overall rising costs after COVID-19. The U.S. Department of Agriculture, Agriculture rather, shows in their economic research service that food insecurity was two and a half times higher for people in the military on a national scale. That's compared to the 10% rate in the civilian adult population as of 2018 and 2020. John Harris, the director of field operations for Soldiers Angels, say the food supply issue for many veterans grew worse after COVID-19. And to combat this, today, low-income veterans, guardsmen, reservists, and service members will each get about 75 pounds of food today. And in this drive through food distribution, this means fresh fruit, vegetables, meats, and non-perishable items right from the hands of volunteers and into their cars. Harris says it's unacceptable for service members to return home to food insecurity after putting Putting their lives on the line for us. There's no denying that, you know, the economy and the challenges as it relates to the cost of food are impacting everyone. Um, you know, in particular, veterans, many of whom are struggling to stay within a certain budget uh, as far as their life, lives are concerned. And uh, so they are being even more so impacted by the issues of food insecurity. Leaders say the monthly food drive will have individual stations for different food types and the support will cover veterans and their families for at least a few weeks. Now, pre-registered veterans will swing by from 930 to 1130. Leaders are looking for local businesses to support these drives to help out additional folks. And you can find out how to get involved with the nonprofit under this web story at live5news.com. In Charleston, Tiana Maxwell, Life 5 News.